In this video, I'm going to write a C program to check whether an integer is even or odd. So if we divide an integer by 2 and we get a remainder of 0, we say that it's even. If we divide an integer by 2 and we get a remainder of 1, we say that it's odd. So we can check for the remainder of a division operation using the modulus operator in C. So here I'll say int number is equal to 9. And then I'll use the modulus operator to check whether the number is even or odd. So I'll see here, if number modulus 2 is equal to 0, we know the number is even. So the modulus operator is like a special division operator, because what it does is it takes number and divides it by 2, but the value here is going to be the remainder of that division. And we're checking to see if that remainder is equal to 0. If it is, we can say the number is even. So we'd say here, printf, number is even. Else if, we can check if the number is odd. So else if the number modulus 2 is equal to 1, that means the number divided by 2 has a remainder of 1. And we could say it's odd. So we'd say here, printf, number is odd. Now with a number of 9, when I run this, I'm going to get number is odd. And I do here. If we were to change the number to say something like 12, and we save this and run it, we now get number is even. And so this is basically it to check to see whether a number is even or odd. What we might want to do is create functions that can return true or false based on whether the number passed to them is odd or even. So let's do that. I'm going to actually include the stdbool.h library just because it allows me to work with true and false values. So I'll say number include stdbool dot h. Then here I'll say bool is even int number. And then bool is odd int number. And so both these functions can be passed the number and they're going to return true or false based on whether the number is even or odd. So we can provide definitions for the functions down here. So in the case of bool is even, we want to turn true if the number is even. So we'll say here, if number modulus 2 is equal to 0, we can return true because we know the number is even. Otherwise, we return false. Then here, for is odd, I'll do a very similar thing. I'll say if the number modulus 2 is equal to 1, return true, else return false. So we could test these functions up here. I could now say if is even number, printf number is even. Else if is odd number, printf the number is odd. So with 12, we should still get the numbers even. And if we run this, we do. If I change it here to say 15, save it and run it, I should get number is odd, and I do. And so with these functions, we can now check whether a number is even or odd anywhere without having to write out this expression. So this might simplify things a bit. It might make it clear to the reader of the code what's trying to be accomplished here. So this is how we can check to see whether an integer is even or odd in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.